have something that I'd like to kind of share with you all, just in terms of my thoughts on the topic, um, in regard to spiritual warfare, monitoring spirits, and things such as that, um, as well as gang stalking also, by the way, but, um, anyways, you know you have to be a powerful son of a gun if these entities, principalities, places, and whatever you want to call it in high places have to go to such great lengths to make you appear to be crazy, to make you seem like you're, you know, a Looney Tune out here, you know, a cartoon character or some stuff, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like, it's just insane because they really and truly think that those of us with with sense spiritual attunement discernment intuition they really believe that we don't know what is up you know it takes a sick person to and and people don't realize how real gang stalking is a lot of the people that that talk down on people that share their stories share their testimonies and you know in regard to spiritual warfare monitoring spirits gang stalking things like that Um, they're quick to be like, oh, that person's crazy, crazy, because they're the ones guilty of it. They're the ones that is going to great lengths, try to watch someone, um, to just completely tune into someone else's life. Like, you know, they go from playing on your phone, trying to hack into your phone, trying to hack into your account, trying to hack into your accounts, your emails, all types of stuff. They'll create fake pages of you, all types of stuff. It's craziness, you know, and when it comes to this spiritual warfare, like I've been, y'all, like I've been attacked. It's like the moment most. Yo, yo, you're wondering how many fake pages you have of yourself that's out there that you're not aware of. I can just imagine. I elevates me a step up, you know, I'm getting, you know, elevated or exalted and it could be something minor, major, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. I notice that like that's when I'm attacked the most. That's when things are just happening the most, and that's when I'm tested the most, you know. Um, but I'm not gonna get on here and be like, oh, you know, be afraid or anything like that because you should not be afraid. You know, if you are a warrior of Christ or you know, source, whatever you subscribe to, whatever it is. You know, and if you are an inner knower and you trust and and have faith in the most high, you know, and, you know, which equates to having faith in yourself, you know, and trusting in your own abilities and power, you know, you don't have to fear anything on this planet Earth, nothing, because that's what they want. They want you to be afraid. They want you to be worried. They want you to be nerved up. They want you to be looking over your shoulder every five seconds. They want you to be in chaos mode 24 7 you know why because that keeps you away from your position your authority your assignment the more they can distract you and keep you off of your path the more they are able to successfully do whatever it is that they truly seek and desire to do which is and i i've been trying to tell people that for the longest too that you know it's just one big show it's just one big distraction You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to be meditating. They don't want you to be studying. They just want you to constantly have your head on the swivel. I hear a lot of T.I. say, oh, man, my head is on the swivel every day. My head, man, get your head off that swivel, man. You know what I'm saying? Get your head off that swivel. You ain't got to be like every day you got your head just be from from left to right to right to left. Yeah, you got to pay attention, be aware of your surroundings, but don't be just having your head on the swivel looking like a, a bob your head doll destroy steal kill and destroy you know that's why i always talk about you know just protecting who you have around you protect just protect everything about who you are especially when you know who you are you have that you know enlightenment and of course we don't it's crazy because like we know things but we don't even know everything you know we really know nothing honestly but what i'm really trying to say is you know it's just it's kind of it's a bit creepy 
what these people will do. It's like they're, they've really been taken over. They've really allowed those entities and the people will do. It's like they're, they've really been taken over. They've really allowed those entities and them spirit, um, you know, them spirits, them demons to take over them. Because no one in their right mind has the time of day to, to be that tuned in and worried about somebody else's life to the point of stalking them, to the point of gang stalking, to the point of monitoring, sending people to, you know, because it's, it's crazy because it's been happening to me. Folks trying to do fake check-ins and that, like, I don't need you checking on me. I don't need you asking about me because you know what? It's crazy because these people don't even really be worried. About and this is real right here. Beware of the fake check-ins, man. You know what I'm saying? Beware of the fake. They're going to be sending people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to holler at you. Like I like I said the, the other day about the ex-female popping up at the market. You know what I'm saying? These fake check-ins. Um, you know, people that you haven't heard from before. You haven't heard from in a while. You know what I'm saying? No matter male or female. You know what I'm saying? Just these fake check, just to say, oh, how you doing? You, I'm checking on you and all that. Man, man, they, it's a psyops, dog. They checking in for a purpose. They don't give a damn about you. They just checking in to see if the magic working. About you. They really be trying to tune in and see whatever negativity and toxicity that they're trying to send your way, whatever demonism they're trying to send your way, they're trying to see if that shit has worked. They're trying to see if it's hit. You know? That's it. That's all. That's why I don't do that check in. If I had heard from you, why is you hitting me? You know, it, it's crazy. Social media is the worst for it as well. I think I'm going to go live about that. We're going to have a conversation about it, guys. Um, and, and because, see, well, I think I'm going to go live about, you know, it, it's crazy. Social media. And see, some people would think that, oh, man, she just, she just gang stalked me, man. She just scratched me up. See, you got, you got to understand, people. You cannot get caught up in just because you see somebody touch their nose or spit on the ground or touch their hair or whatever, whatever, whatever you've been sensitized to. Don't be all automatically thinking that that's a perk. Don't be just throwing people under the bus. Be, remember, these are natural things that people have been doing for a long time. Okay? They just sensitize you to the tactics. You know what I'm saying? It's all designed to get you all routed up and all scared. Just like just like those Illuminati videos when you see people throwing up, you know, the the, the Balfamet sign and you know, you know how people doing you know, hold on, my hand at there you go. You know, that you know that Balfamet sign, people get scared. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as you see somebody doing that, you weren't even thinking about that before until you seen the Illuminati videos. You know what I'm saying? You ain't care about that Bofferman sign until you see, oh man, it's down with the Illuminati. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Media is the worst for it as well. I think I'm going to go live about that. We're going to have a conversation about it, guys. Um, because social media is like the worst. You know, people, they just, they just watch. You know, it, it's, it's such an eerie feeling. To know that people that despise you or it, that are sending, you know, dirty looks at you, the evil eye is so real, y'all. But to know that you have people like that, that don't even wish you well, but can't stop watching you, won't stop watching you, won't stop tuning into you, won't stop trying to check in on you, won't stop trying to stalk. You know, it, it's really sad. It but really is. this is the time that we are in, you guys. Spiritual warfare is so real. I remember, um, quick, quick flashback. I remember 2004 was, uh, was the year when I came home. Right. And, um, I had, I had, um, went to go meet, I went to go meet a, um, a so-called homie that was incarcerated with me at the time, but he, he had got home earlier than I did. Right. So, um, I had hit him up, told him I was home. But I've been home for a while, though. Been home for probably about a good eight months or whatever before I even seen him. But he was already home. He was already dug. He was already home over a year. I think it was. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was like over a year or something. You know what I'm saying? He was already home. So, and then I came home. So, I've, I've been, before we linked up, before I met him, I was home probably about seven months or whatever. I was at the halfway house. And I remember I went up to, um, to this, I was up Philly, I went up Philly up um, to this Foot Locker, and he was there. 
And I remember when I went inside, this is way before the street theater, all this stuff, Pokemon game, none of that was going on. But I remember when um when I went to the Foot Locker, I told him I was there. I said I was on my way. So when I got there, I'm looking around for him. There was so many people in the damn Foot Locker, it was crazy. And I was like, man, how in the world am I going to find him in this joint? He works there at the time, right? So the nigga, I don't know if he watching this video or not, but he ghosted me a long time ago. But um, he saw me before I saw him. I just, I'm looking around, looking, you know, so many people in there. As when, when I turned around, I looked, and I swear to goodness, man, when I seen the look that he had when he saw, when he recognized it was me, I, it, it, I just wish, like, I to this day, I can't. It's a Kodak moment in my brain. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't know. He don't remember. Obviously, he don't. You know, he don't. He didn't see his face. But I saw his face. And when I when I when I mean hate. If 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 uh, what would they say? If if looks could kill, I'd have been dead. If if hate, if hate could kill, I would have been dead. You know what I'm saying? If somebody if somebody can create a a facial expression of hate. Like, the hate that I saw in this dude's face, man. I mean, the jealousy. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it always reminds me of Tupac. When Tupac had said um, in the song, um, Pitch Me Rolling, in the beginning of the song, he was like, why y'all niggas look mad? Y'all supposed to be happy that I'm free. Y'all niggas look like y'all wanted me to stay in jail. <laughs> Whole busters, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and to this day, you know what I'm saying? To, to this day! To this, to this day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I I never forget it. I never forget it, man. I never forget, you know. We we still we still was cool for a long time from from that year, from 2004, and then we ended up, you know, his time ran out. He was a perp all this time. He he had been an Asian all this time. You know what I'm saying? You know that's just what they do. They they put plants in your life. And, and they have these people around you, and you be thinking that they real, and they're not real. Yeah, they real agents, you know what I'm saying? That's about it. Um, remember that song back in the day? Some of y'all probably don't remember. It was in, in the 90s, it was a Jamaican song called Informer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's the, and, and that's what it was all about. It was about this, this dude was, you know, I think he was selling drugs in the video and everything. And it was all about these informants that was around him. You know what I'm saying? So it was pretty much, you know. Tied up to the gang stalking, you know what I'm saying? When you got a bunch of informants around you, you don't know who's who. You do not know who's who. So I, I just, like I said, I, I don't have a digital. Well, shit, maybe I do got a digital copy in my mind because my, my brain is on the high mind, you know what I'm saying? So they could see images in my brain anyway, right? They could take pictures of what I, they could see what I see. So maybe that Kodak moment of his face, maybe they can print that up somewhere. Cause I remember, I never forget it, man. To this day, cause I was like, cause when I turned around, I saw his face. I was like, "What's up, man?" I said, "Man, what's wrong with your face?" I said, like, "I said, man, fix your face." You know what I'm saying? You know, and I laughed it off, but I never forgot. I never forgot, man. I mean, it's it's like I felt like I was like um, I don't know, like I was a superstar, like I was um, genuine coming in the room or something. And it was just a bunch of hating ass people, you know what I'm saying? But he was the only one that was looking like that, though. Everybody else was in there getting sneakers and, you know, well, nobody else. It didn't seem like nobody else wasn't really paying me no mind and, except the own homie that I was coming to see, you know what I mean? And I just happened to turn around and I seen that look. I seen that facial expression. And I was like, wow, man. I said, like, this this is really real. Like, you know, like you, you really, really can't, you really can't trust nobody. You really, really can, man. People are snakes, man. You know, these same people that be acting like they down with you, they not down with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they, they're really, really out to get you on on, on, on a whole nother level. I, I swear to goodness, I, I ain't met nobody like myself since I've been on this planet. I haven't. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be knowing that, you know, you know, I'm not from here. You know what I'm saying? And I know there's other people out here. That might be like like minded like minded like myself or or have a big heart like myself, but I probably would never meet them. You see what I'm saying? Because this this simulation is so rigged and so um, orchestrated that they would do their best to um, a lot keep synchronizing me with fake people. Just like when you when you watch the movie Adjustment Bureau, 
And the dude was like, you know, he said it was just by chance that he had ran into that girl, his, his, his that girl who was trying to see. He was like, what do you mean by chance? He was like, he was basically saying it wasn't supposed to happen. That's why I always tell people they need to watch that movie Adjustment Bureau. You know what I'm saying? Because that movie right there shows you that there's entities that work 24-7 around the clock, okay, to keep you in check and keep you in line and keep you from meeting your tribe. They want to continue to have you surrounded by a bunch of fake people. So no matter where you travel to, where you go, whatever, it's going to be some informants. It's going to be some agents there watching every, scoping every, you know, every step you take. You know what I'm saying? Every breath you take, every step you take, they're going to be watching you. You know what I'm saying? So. This is a fight between the light and the dark. And the dark so desperately wants to win, but the light is rising up every single day. And there's nothing that no demon in hell can do about it. Because we shall rise, we shall continue to proceed, we shall continue to learn, grow, and be used by the Most High. We shall get to the completion of our assignment and move on, this lifetime and, and on. You know, I was having a conversation with someone the other day, like, I was telling them, like, you know, this flesh, this flesh suit of ours may, may go. But our energy is forever. Our soul lives on forever, right? So with that being said, I'm going to stop it. It's almost 17 minutes. I don't want to make it too long because it's going to take too long to download. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, holler back. DV Gang Stalking Simulation, the best channel on YouTube. Play a player. Stay real. Stay away from the fake. And stay studying.